Well, it's been an exciting week in sports. For all of the highlights, we turn to Sunny Ang with the sunny side of sports. Hello, Vincent, and sporty greetings once again to our Africa 54 viewers. Questions this week over whether the Kenyan flag will be waving at the Rio Olympics because of the threat of the Zika virus. But two-time Olympic gold medalist Kip Kano, nicknamed the father of Kenyan distance running, denies reports the Kenyan team will pull out. The 76-year-old Kano is now the head of Kenya's Olympic Committee, and in his words, Kenya is going to go to Brazil. The Kenyan team is going to Brazil, hoping to improve its medal count from the 2012 Olympics in London. The Kenyans won 11 medals in the British capital that placed them third overall among African teams. South Africa and Ethiopia, which won three gold medals each, were the best performing African Olympic teams in London. I encourage our Africa 54 viewers to check out my sunny side of sports blog. The address is blogs.voanews.com slash sunny. My latest blog post is on the 65th National Basketball Association All-Star Game, which tips off Sunday in Toronto, Canada. It marks the first time the popular exhibition contest has been held outside the United States. Two stars who will be showing off their skills are Kobe Bryant of the Los Angeles Lakers and Stephen Curry of the NBA champion Golden State Warriors. The 37-year-old Bryant, who is retiring after this season, received almost 1.9 million votes in fan balloting for the All-Star Game, tops among all players. The sharpshooting Curry, meanwhile, is the NBA's leading scorer and reigning most valuable player. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Vincent? Well, thanks a lot, Sonny. Watch for the sunny side of sports every Monday and Friday right here on Africa 54. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com.